If you're someone who has ever been stressed out before, you've likely had somebody tell you to just take a deep breath. But maybe you're wondering, how does deep breathing reduce stress? I'm gonna share that with you in this video. My name is Tiffany Toombs. I'm a high performance mindset coach that helps people break free from the stress cycle so that they can truly achieve what they want in this life. In this video, I'm going to share with you how stress causes our body to become tight and tense and how that can lead to injury and illness down the road. Then I'm going to share with you how deep breathing works to calm down the nervous system so that you can come out of stress. And finally, I'm going to share with you my three favorite breathing techniques that will help you come out of stress in an instant. So what most people don't realize is that on an average day, we have 60,000 thoughts that go through our mind. And of these 60,000 thoughts, 80% of those are negative. Now what happens is when we have a thought that thought causes our body to release a chemical called a hormone, and that hormone causes us to feel a specific emotion. Now, I wanna focus specifically on the hormones in this video, because those hormones are transmitted through the body, through our blood system, and they have the ability to impact every single cell in our body. So if 80% of the day we are thinking thoughts that are linked to stress, that means for 80% of the day, we are pumping out stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. Now the impact of cortisol is that it speeds up our heart and it dilates our pupils so that we can see better, but over a long period of time, it causes our nervous system to get stuck in a state of fight or flight, where we're perpetually in this ready to fight somebody or run away mode. Now, how the body is going to respond to that is that it's going to tense up. Our body is going to, all of our muscles are going to tense up, prepared to either run away or to fight in a moment's notice. And when we are stuck in this state of tightness, that can cause our muscles to constrict and become tighter. And that's where then when we go for a run, we're more likely to pull a muscle or we go to lift a laundry basket and all of a sudden we hurt our back. Over the long period of time, it can also lead to things like weight gain. It can cause us to be more susceptible to illnesses such as fibromyalgia, liver disease, cancer, and thyroid issues. So we need to be able to relax the nervous system. But how do we do that? Before I share that with you, I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel. I am putting out brand new videos just like this one every single week to help you master your mind, heal your body so that you can totally chill out from the stress and achieve your goals faster and easier. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button and like this video while you're there. Now, if our nervous system is in this state of fight or flight, it thinks that we are constantly under attack our natural breathing pattern is going to be to breathe short and shallow. We're gonna take very short breaths and we're gonna be breathing from our upper chest. Now this means that we're limiting the amount of oxygen that we take in, which just further validates to our nervous system that we are under attack and we need to be prepared. When we consciously decide to start taking deeper breaths, there's a couple different things that happens. Firstly, it slows our brain waves down. Instead of being in this beta brain wave where the brain waves are very close and short together, it smooths them out so that our brain waves are moving into alpha, which is where we go to when we're in a meditative state, and it slows them down so there's more space between them. And this means our mind is going to have less hectic thoughts traveling through them which means, again, coming back to, if the thoughts calm down, then the amount of hormone and the type of hormone that we are pumping through the body slows down as well. The other thing is that our muscles and our breath are very connected. And so if we can take a couple deep breaths very consciously, that will allow us to start relaxing the body. The nervous system, when we take a deep breath, 
the nervous system says, oh wait, we're not running away right now. We're not fighting. We have enough oxygen. Things, things are actually okay. So, so maybe I can just let my guard down a little bit. And so this is where taking those deep breaths allows your shoulders to drop away from your ears, allows your hands to unclench, and all of a sudden your body slowly starts to follow suit. Now you can magnify the power of your breath by becoming totally mindful in that moment while you're breathing and even visualizing the oxygen flowing to the areas that are tight and going in, releasing it, and allowing you to breathe it out. So adding this visualization of those tight areas becoming loose or even just bringing focused attention to the areas that are tight will allow you to relax them even more. Now before I share with you my three favorite breathing exercises to reduce stress in an instant, I wanna hear from you. When you're in a state of high stress, how does your body feel? Have you ever paid attention to it? Go to the comments below and let me know how your body feels, what areas get tight. I can't wait to see your responses. So I have three breathing exercises that I give all of my clients when they find themselves getting tenser and tenser. The first is called box breathing. This is actually a technique used by Navy SEALs and the US Marines to help them stay out of a state of fight or flight when they're going into combat or when they're going on an important mission. So what you're going to do is you're going to breathe in for four counts, hold for four counts, breathe out for four counts, and hold for four counts. If it helps you visualize drawing a box with your breath, you can absolutely do that as well. We want to repeat this at least four times to get the benefits. So I'm gonna count you through one round so that you can experience it. So just take a nice deep breath in and out. And just get ready. And then we're going to breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold two, three, four. So that's one round. We would repeat that at least three more times. This is something that you can do where nobody ever has to even know that you are doing it. So first was the box breathing. The second breathing technique that I absolutely love is called exhale emphasized breathing. Now exhale emphasized breathing is when we count the in breath and out breath and we make sure that our out breath is longer than our inhale. It doesn't matter if it's one count longer or four counts longer or double the amount of time. All that matters is that the exhale is longer. So you might breathe in for four and out for six or breathe in for three and out for eight. It doesn't matter as long as the exhale is longer. This causes the body to move into the parasympathetic nervous system or the rest and digest, which is the opposite to the fight or flight. The third breathing technique or exercise that you can do also moves you from the sympathetic fight or flight nervous system into the parasympathetic rest and digest system. And this is to breathe only through your nose. Contrary to what most people believe, our breathing is driven by a need to release carbon dioxide more than it is the need to inhale oxygen. So carbon dioxide actually drives our breathing. When we breathe out of our mouth, because there is less restriction to the airflow there, we breathe out more carbon dioxide. And that can actually put the body into a little bit of a stressful state because now the balances of gases in our body are no longer at the right concentration levels. So when we breathe both in and out through our nose, we are releasing less carbon dioxide and we're maintaining the appropriate concentration levels of those gases. This is especially true at night. If you are a mouth breather, and I was for a very long time, this is something that I've been working on for the last six to 12 months, is to become a nose breather. How do you know if you breathe through your nose or your mouth? If you wake up with like funky tastes in your mouth in the morning, if you wake up with a very dry mouth, that's a sign you're breathing through your mouth. What we want to do is to breathe through your nose. Now you might say, 
But Tiffany, I sleep on my side or on my stomach. So do I. It's actually easier to breathe through your nose when you're on your side or on your stomach than when you are on your back. So how do you train yourself into becoming a nose breather? This one's gonna seem a little bit weird and my husband thought I had gone a little bit crazy but I promise you it is super effective. What you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of tape and put it over your mouth. You can obviously take the tape off at any point in time if you want to but it stimulates you and reminds you to breathe through your nose instead of your mouth. You could do this during the day as long as you don't have anybody to talk to or any calls or anything to make or you can do it at night. I only had to tape my mouth for maybe about a week while, while I was sleeping at night and then I was able to start breathing through my nose the majority of the time while I was asleep. Now there have been times where I've gotten sick and my nose has been stuffed and I've gone back to breathing through my mouth but as soon as my nose cleared up then I was able to quite quickly go back to nose breathing. I also recognize very quickly at night now if I do happen to start breathing through my mouth I feel that dryness and that funky taste a lot faster so I can automatically go back to nose breathing. As I said, nose breathing is going to take you into the parasympathetic nervous system so that your nervous system feels like it can relax. If you want more tools to be able to reset your stress levels and your nervous system so that you can find a state of calm and flow so much easier. I'd love to share with you the replays of a workshop that I ran last year called Stress Reset. In this replay, I'm going to share with you the hidden stressors that you might not even know about, the impact of stress on your body, and changes that you can start making now to get dramatic results. All you have to do to get instant access to those free replays is go to stressresetreplay.com or click on the link in the description. Thanks for watching.